Hello friends, welcome to our family time together. Gather around with your family, your friends, as we center on God for the next few moments. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about women that have demonstrated courage in the way that they love and serve God. This week, I introduce you to Lydia. Now, Lydia is a businesswoman, and her job is to make purple cloths and sell them. But there's a problem. Purple cloths are very expensive to make and buy. So that means that only kings and people with a lot of money were the only ones that could buy Lydia's purple cloths. It's possible that Lydia had a lot of influence because of the people she worked with. She sold and inter acted with people with lots of money. But Lydia also loved God. Today, we learn more about her story from the book of Acts. Open with me to Acts chapter 16, verses 11 through 15. As I read this story, I want you to think about the color purple and the places you might spy or see something purple. Let's listen to our story. Lydia made and sold purple cloths. Lydia's cloths cost a lot of money and only people who were rich could buy her cloths. Lydia believed in God and sometimes she and her friends would gather near the river to pray together. One day, Paul saw the friends gathered at the river praying. He told them about Jesus. Lydia believed in Jesus and became a follower of Jesus. Lydia also told her family about Jesus and her whole family became followers of Jesus. Lydia invited Paul to her home and by doing so, she helped other people learn more about Jesus. Lydia showed courage by becoming a follower of Jesus and by telling others about Jesus. Lydia used her power and influence to talk and share about Jesus even more. Now, I want you to stop and discuss with someone sitting next to you what kind of career or job you want to have in the future. Perhaps you wanna be a police officer or a doctor or maybe a businessman or a businesswoman, just like Lydia. Then I want you to talk about how you're going to use your career or your job to tell others about Jesus. Talking about Jesus at school or our workplaces may not always be easy, but we know we can pray and ask God to give us the courage to do so. And we can also ask God to prepare people's hearts to listen to the message of God's love. This week, I encourage you to talk to your parents and ask them how they talk about Jesus in their work. Now, will you say the Lord's Prayer with me? <clears throat> Talking about Jesus at school, among our friends, or in our workplaces may not always be easy, but we must remember that we can pray and ask God to give us courage to speak about His love. And more than that, we can also ask God to prepare people's hearts to be, to be ready to hear God's message of love. This week, I encourage you to ask your parents how they share God's love in their workplace. Will you now pray with me? 
Repeat after me. God, thank you for Lydia's story because in it, we learn about courage and what it looks like to talk to others about you. Help us use this story to remember Talking about Jesus at school or our workplace may not always be easy, but we can remember that we can pray to God and ask for courage so that we can tell others about God's love. We can also pray and ask God to prepare people's hearts to be ready to listen to God's message of love. This week, I encourage you to ask your parents how they talk about God in their workplace. Now, let's use this time to pray. Repeat after me. God, thank you for Lydia's story because in it, we learn about courage. Give us the courage to speak up and tell others about your great love. Now, will you pray the Lord's Prayer with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Friends, remember, it takes courage to tell others about Jesus. Have a great week.